Shaquille, you've had a dominating MVP season. Number one in scoring, number two in rebounds, number three in block shots, four assists a game almost, and only three people played more minutes as you were leading your team to 67 victories. It's a pleasure to watch you grow. Congratulations, 1999-2000 NBA MVP, Shaquille O'Neal. Plus, Phoenix must stop the Lakers from the second shots. 19 in game one. Len Rice only oh. two for nine from the field. And of course, on the double team, you're going to see Rice wide open. And they're not only Longley, but Cliff Robinson as well as Rodney Rogers. Here is Ron Harper. And the Lakers off to a four to nothing start. Two and a half minutes gone by in the first quarter. Here's Shaq with a quick release over Longley in his first point. Uh, you know, Dick, we say he's first in the league in scoring, but he's also first in the league in field goal percentage. He has all of the jump hooks down pat. Hardaway miss missing from the perimeter. A.C. Green was looking down court, but now Kobe Bryant. And Bryant fires a two and hits. So four of the starting five for the Lakers already in the scoring column. In the early going, Phoenix, only one offensive rebound. That's what the Lakers do well. Take care of the board. And Kobe Bryant, in an early rhythm, has his second basket, and the Lakers, six of seven, they'll open it up. Good timeout right now by Scott Skiles. You look at Kobe Bryant's game, Dick. Everybody talks about the 25 points and the six rebounds. Well, that's something that he does night in and night out. But where he gets you, he gets you with the three steals and then the three blocks to add up. And then he is shooting a high percentage in the playoffs. Take the pressure off himself. All he needs is one field goal. That shot is there all night because he's beating Shaq down the floor. Here is Shaw hitting. So the Laker guards off to a big start. They have scored 10 of their 14 points. Forced the action. Here is Glenn Rice with a fake on Marion. And Here's O'Neal stuffing it through. Nothing you can do about that. No, he's just so big, so powerful. In game one, seven offensive rebounds. Now they are Dennis Rodman. <laughs> he's right. you know, someone out of the back. <laughs> Jack gets long, Longley, who's already picked up one personal foul. And Shaq gets the basket. No foul, although Shaq was looking for it. And the Lakers lead 20 to 19. Rodney Rogers into the game for the Phoenix Suns. And Shaquille O'Neal over Longley, not to be denied, eight points for Shaq. Now let me tell you, that was a great move. That was a great stretch. And then at the height of his jump, he knocks in a, a, a hook. That was beautiful. The miss tapped around, and Shaq gets it. Robert Orley goes back to O'Neal. And he get away with it. And Longley uh, gets the rebound. And a oh, foul is called. Lakers at the free throw line for the first time tonight. And the Shaq now with nine points in the game. First in assists for a center, a shade under four again. I think he may win more than one MVP. What do you uh, think? <laughs> not bad. MVP and the IBM award. Right. Not bad. Shaq with a great feed. Talk about assists. Robert Ory. Anytime that you double team him in that situation and you come big man, big man, the man that leaves, and Ori, as soon as he saw that, right to the front of the rim. Shaq will get you the basketball. Suns by one. There's Rogers. Rogers has uh, lost his footing on a couple of occasions. Kobe Bryant ahead of the field, getting the pass, and the Lakers regain the lead. I am going to force whoever is playing center to be consistent and make the shots. Otherwise, I'll help out. Shaq getting the basket and drawing the foul. No way to stop Shaquille O'Neal when he gets the ball down low in such an enviable position. Well, just keep an eye on the catch. Once he's in the paint, it's all over. There's nothing you can do about it. You see Blount, he's up there strong. And with the big fella squares up and he takes it with both hands, it's over. 11 points and six rebounds already for Shaquille O'Neal. And here it is again. Impossible to really cut him down. Glenn Rice back into the game for the Lakers. As Rick Fox sits down. Shaquille O'Neal now with 12. After going 50% in the first quarter, Shaq on a reverse lane gets his own rebound and gets the basket and the foul. He is that quick. 
and it doesn't take long for him to put the put back through and the foul will be against uh, Clifford Robinson his second see it sounds easy keep him off the offensive glass now just watch as he misses this all right and, and he just comes right back gets it and then he's coming back strong because with the big hands it's just like a, a little softball in his hand he can dunk it either way or send it down with both you'll be he has the chance to be as good as any center who ever played this game well no doubt about that I mean his numbers year in and year out ever since he's come in the league have been staggering last year is the first year that he was not in the top 10 in the four major categories here is the Shaw going back on the repost to Shaquille O'Neal and O'Neal with a shot over Luke Longley. 17 first half points for Shaq. Came back in the less than six weeks, a miraculous comeback for Kidd. Meanwhile, with five on the shot clock, Shaw going back to O'Neal, the turnaround, and having a great first half with 19. Now, Luke Longley on the last two shots, right up on top of him, outstretched, seven foot, pressuring the shot. He's making that shot. That's a tough angle. Against Longley going inside for the basket. Up and under, 21 for Shaq. I like that. What? Up and under was great. Right. <laughs> That's exactly what he did. That was beautiful. A variety of shots, including three dunks from him in his hand. The thing that's great about him is he has such a nice touch. He plays the glass. Really trying to take the Lakers higher with a great 21.9 rebound effort. Here's Shaq. No double team yet. Hardaway came over. Kobe Bryant hitting the shot. Rice and Bryant attempted only nine shots in the first half, well below what they normally do. Gets the rebound and puts it in. What a tremendous effort by Shaquille O'Neal when they're all grasping for the ball. Jack doubled with Longley and Kidd right now with two on the shot clock, and he gets the basket. There is nothing Shaq can't do tonight from that position. Now, he's shooting such a high percentage, Dick. The jump hook has been his bailout. And then on the left side of the floor, the baseline turn where he's elevating and shooting up over the top of the center. 25 points for Shaquille O'Neal along with 13 rebounds and the biggest lead tonight 10. now this is great see he reads the clock he knows it's coming down and once again an angle jump hook nothing but net here is kobe bryant hardaway giving him the outside shot and kobe gladly accepting it bryant now with 10 points and the lead again is 10. yeah he's making all the jumpers this evening now they match up and here is shaq can you believe it? Jack gets the basket. Penny Hardaway came over to get a hand on the ball. Means nothing. No matter. O'Neal now with 27 points. Because right now they're playing him straight up. And anytime you get him in a straight up situation, he's been playing well. Blake Rice. Only a six point of the game, but the answer is Hardaway's jumper and a 62-55. And they have to be careful because you do not want this to jump out to a 12 to 15 by the end of three. Reminiscent of the uh, game one Sunday and uh, Shaw trying to lob it into Kobe. And Kobe Bryant is fouled by Penny Hardaway, but Bryant will go for the line. Bryant has averaged 23 points, six and a half assists, six rebounds against the Suns this year. Well, he's just having a magnificent player. You know, throughout all of the playoff games played to date, he's averaging 27 points a game. And then when you add the fact that he gives you five rebounds and he's there in assists, steals, and blocks, plus he is drawing defensively the number one guard offensively. And the first team selection on the All-NBA defensive team We've had plenty of good looks at the basket in the corner and a lot of easy ones like that right there. Wide open, Clifford Robinson hits the basket, so the Suns on an early fourth quarter roll and the lead is five. Got a kick and push. Hardaway side to Clifford Robinson and Scott Stiles off the bench suit, cheering on the Suns who trail by three. And now they're matching up. Here is Ori into O'Neal. No way to stop it in a foul. And Clifford Robinson trying to offer some resistance and ill-advised, really. The man on the opposite side of the trap has got the front Shaq. That's your only chance. Shaq with a three-point play now with 31 points. 
coming off a 37-point effort in game one. Driving to the basket, and that is Seymour with Kobe penetrating and feeding Shaquille O'Neal, who has 33. He's out of the trap. Clifford Robinson misses a three. Hardaway oh, going pretty. back to Robinson. Tough play over Shaq. He had to spin it up sideways. And Robinson with 26 points. His career playoff high is 28. I see that was a great pass by Penny Hardaway. And you saw Fox come in for Glenn Rice moments ago. And there is Shaq. He wants the ball, and he scores against three smaller defenders. Harper with Bryant, Ori, Shaq, and Glenn Rice. Here's Ori. Hits the three. Second of the game. You can see he's feeling his way, not rushing anything offensively. Second game back since oh, the injury, and O'Neal is fouled. Kobe Bryant got it to Shaq inside. 37 points for O'Neal, and a chance to conclude a three-point play, and the lead is up to four. There's nothing you can do in that situation if the defense is designed to play behind him. Now, you saw how easy it was to make that pass. If you're going to play behind Shaq, then... You have got to do some job in getting all over the passer. You cannot give the passer a wide open opportunity to drop the pass into him when he backs the defender into the paint. And not the way to steal by Clifford Robinson and Glenn Rice on the foul. Clifford Robinson with the foul and one of the top defensive players, second team all defense this year, and can establish a career playoff high if he makes this, and he does with his 29th point. Shooting 47%. It's just tough when a guy like him is struggling at 31%. He's, he's got the schneid off his back right now. He's playing great basketball. Man. And he's been in the NBA Finals with the Trailblazers. Tie game under a minute to go. Big thing now. Phoenix needs Hold the Lakers the one shot. And it's stripped steal. away, out of bounds, and the Suns get Look it out. The out head of the field is Robinson, and he misses the lay in Hardaway with the follow-up. Penny Hardaway with the follow-up, and the Suns lead by two. And Scott Skiles is excited as the Suns should be. The Phoenix Suns have taken their first lead since two and a half minutes into the second quarter, and the Lakers are calling the timeout. Ron Harper with Rice, Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, and Robert Ory in the lineup. Very important possession as Kobe Bryant draws the foul. And Bryant will go to the line with 43.5. Kobe Bryant now 3 for 3 from the line and 13 points in the game. Coming up on Inside the NBA presented by Hyundai, Ernie, Kenny, Peter... Joined by Paul Silas, the Hornets coach, highlights post-game reaction from tonight's game and a preview of tomorrow's game three between Portland and Utah. One out of two for Kobe Bryant, and the Suns still have the lead, and they'll call a timeout with 41.2. And on the shot clock. Yeah, stagger screen right there for Hardaway. And here is Penny Hardaway having a big game going up. Deflected. Shaq got a hand on it. Ron Harper slows it down. And a chance to play for the last shot. They're Suns by it. one. They're going to take it off the dribble. This is it now. Game's on the line. You're down one. And Kobe Bryant at the point on a 1-4 offensive formation. Kobe Bryant pulls up for the shot and hits the basket with 2.6 to go. Giving the Lakers the lead. What a heroic basket by Kobe Bryant. And he was defense as good as you can be defense. On his elevation, the defenders were right there in his face. Now Phoenix still has 2.6 seconds. You have time now. Move the ball to half court. You should get off a decent shot. Now keep an eye on this now. He's surveying it. He's got Jason Kidd. Now just watch. He's right up in there, and the second man coming up was too late. Kobe Bryant with 15 points made the biggest basket of the year for the Lakers, who are threatened here at home. You cannot fall asleep here now. 2.6 seconds. You've got plenty of time to make the catch, at least get two dribbles off and a high percentage shot. Rodgers will inbound. And they only have one time I left. Here is Penny Hardaway firing it up off the mark, and the game is over. And the Lakers have survived. Kobe Bryant with the winning basket with 2.6 seconds remaining. And the Lakers...
withstand a scare by the Phoenix Suns and have taken a two to nothing lead in the best of seven Western semifinal by a score of 97 to 90.